Cincinnati, we gon' rise and up. Stripes. In the jungle, we unite and up. Trippin' orange and black and white. Who day when we fight? Live and die in these stripes. Uh. Now who gotta move again on? Welcome got strikes in you. to Vince and Bruce, where Derek's internet's already messing up by the time you go live. Gotta love it. No, What's I up, guys? I, I bumped my camera and it messed everything up, but hey, we we're here. Bengals, we got Bengals of Bourbon. What's up, brother? We got 2020 <laughs> fan of the year, the first Bengals fan Original, of the year. Original, the OG. Sean, who that baby? More. Who that baby? Yeah. Who that baby? Let's go. Woo. The tongue, Sean. Mom, there you go. All right. Whenever baby wants to see you, Mom, I just heard that from the background. God love it. <laughs> oh, that was Ashlyn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, as you can see here for for this. Uh, sorry, Sean. You you, you didn't know. What, you didn't what, know. Uh, no. Uh, you still have a Cincy hat. Right. But we all have the hat that will be at the draft event on. April 26th. Oh, Derek's wife's here to uh, make Jesus. a baby. Make another baby. Well, that's what the show was scheduled. Dale put up the thumbnail. Derek and Sarah make a baby live on Bangles and Brews today. Yeah, I had Sean on to get you in the mood. I'm going into work late for this shit, Sarah. Come on now. <laughs> I'm glad you can't hear. I can't hear shit. <laughs> he knows. He knows what we're saying. Oh, he yeah. knows. Oh, he knows. Oh, my goodness. They make adult videos about this. Right. They we'll do. I watched one this morning before bed. I don't know what that is. But you know what I would make? Oh, make shit. a trip over to 50 West to Fear and Midwest Best <laughs> Party Pool. Proud sponsors my of Bangles and Brew. So. Yeah. I know that wasn't talking smack about me. No, no that was yeah. talking about barbecue sauce. That was a perfect time plug. Where'd it go? I know. I it it. It. Greg, Greg's the ad man, Sean. Yeah, no, Sean, yeah. I just timed it at the perfect timing, buddy. Right. <laughs> I bet you do, Greg. Ooh, right. cracking one I'm open. I'm in the middle of making banana bread, but I want it to come say hi. Hello. I can't believe that's so nice of you to deliver it to me down at work tonight, Sarah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, Do you put the so little hard. nuts in it, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I'm not even packing a lunch, girl. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I'll have to bring some to a tailgate or something this season. We'll tailgate in the parking lot yeah, down right. there at the hospital. Let's go. <laughs> We're in. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. All right. Bye, Sarah. Anyway, back to the house. You want right? me to go make the banana bread and she can just... Take my place. Banana, yeah. whatever. That's code yeah. word, Derek. We already know about your fucking banana. Is this true, Pork Chop? You love stepmother porn? <laughs> <laughs> I might. I might. That might be on a schedule for tomorrow when I get home from work. Oh, crap. She just oh, left. Oh, man. Yeah. That'd be overload to have two of her man here. Trip's supposed to be at the event. Yeah. Yes, he is. He got he three tickets, have. didn't he? Yeah, he did. All right. Yeah, he's gonna. You know that. what? I was thinking about it the other day. He's gonna just walk around there, and we'll be like trying to find Crip. We'll be like, "Sir, are you Crip?" And he'll be like, "Nah, man, I'm Steve, but it's Crip." <laughs> <laughs> and then at, at the end, when we have our next episode, he'll be like, "Hey, man, it was nice to meet you all." We'll be like, "Right." Like, he'll it, have it's like drunk Bengals it. fan. Nobody knows. Oh, we'll, right. know. Right. Right. Yeah. we'll know when Sarah leaves with some random guy that we don't know. If we get stickers <laughs> yeah, in the Grim right. Reaper that says Crip on it up there, you find stickers, something's up. Yes. Yep. <laughs> some Crip. All stickers. right, guys. So, who day, baby? Yes, sir. What are your thoughts so far on the Bengals free agency? Have you liked it? Uh, DJ, we lost DJ Reader. Obviously, that one hurt a little bit. But, you know, Mike Gasicki. Zach Moss, we lost Joe Mixon, whatever you want to say with that. Shout out Rankins on the team, Geno Stone, uh, probably leaving out some other. Uh, Trent Brown, big. I can't leave him out with that. He's, he's a big dude. He's a big dude, yeah. So what are your thoughts so far on free agency? I, I like it so far. I mean, they've, they've addressed the needs that they needed to. I mean, safety obviously didn't improve as much as we wanted to last year. Bringing him in and bringing Vaughn back is going to be great. I mean, I think Vaughn will help battle tremendously. <laughs> 
because I still think Jordan's going to be out there getting quite a few snaps. I mean, that's going to happen. And then bring it in Brown on the line. That's huge. You know, hopefully he can stay healthy for the entire season. That's been where his his downfall is a killy deal. So, but um, let's have again. What we're gonna have to talk about it. We're, not, we're, 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 I think Matt sent you the five dollars, Dustin. So you would. I didn't write anything. Yeah, <laughs> there'll, be a, there'll be another super chat from Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Coming in here, but no, I mean, I like the moves. There's nothing that was overly flashy, but it just got got the job done. Kind of like me, I'm not flashy, but I can get the job done. What would you? Yeah, what grade Sarah would you knows. give it? I, I give him a solid B plus. What would it take to uh, bump it to an A? Probably can't happen at this point. <laughs> right. right. Maybe corner. I mean, I think I know what can, can bump it to an A. D. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Jefferson would bump it to an A. Right. <laughs> Not a forgiven. See, am I the only rational one that's like, I don't want to no, give up Gail, you're not. 18 this and guy. T Higgins and something else potentially for Justin Jefferson? Like, are we that much better if we do that? Does that make right. us closer to a contender than if we hold on to 18 and we hold on to T and we try to win it that way? I because mean, at 18, we're talking maybe Johnny Newton, an offensive tackle. Mm -hmm. like, And the offensive tackle, though, probably wouldn't be for this year, which is why I kind of like the thought of Newton, because you can yeah. rotate your D lineman. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at about 500 snaps for the season, so you can get him in and out and Dude, not beat him be, up. They would plan for Johnny Newton. Day one. Game yeah. one, they would plan for him. Yeah, hey, what if we just did both? But John, you got you to gotta plan for JJ and Jamar Chase like a mother trucker. All right, so I think I think if they get Jefferson, because they're going to have to give up a lot. So to answer Dustin's question here, who are they extending Jefferson or Chase? I think it, it would be both. They're not right. going to trade for him and not <laughs> extend him and plan on keeping Chase. They're going to try to get the band back together and keep them together. And I, I mean, I think it was Goodberry that said maybe there's a two percent chance, maybe a five percent chance of this happening. So it's not like zero percent chance. But so you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance. They can, ex there's a chance. They can extend keep, Chase. I right. think they would extend. Can't they extend Chase right now? Yeah. They can wait till next year. You you want to get Jefferson they first. They can wait till next year, but it just yeah. gets more expensive, is what I'm saying, Greg. So maybe the you know people are in the background and they're talking at well, the hey, stadium. The best of all of this like, is is Chase, Burrow, and Jefferson all share the same agent. <clears throat> yes. So it makes it easy to work it out. Well, what doesn't make it easy is T did not sign his franchise tag yet, so it's hard to trade a player when he hasn't even signed his franchise tag, right? But if you're going to tell him that he's going to get traded, he'll sign it. Yeah. That yeah, he'll sign it because they're going to have an extension worked out as well. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if You're more likely to have, if it, they actually are talking, you're, you're more likely to have the Vikings and the Bengals have already agreed on draft pick and T, and now it's all the backdoor workings of, you backdoor. know, Malagetta freaking working his deal with the Vikings so they can find out what he wants, and then you got to find out what JJ wants, and you're talking to Burrow for restructure, you're talking to Chase and what he's going to take less to have it all, the band back together. There's a lot that goes into this. It's not just, oh, we're just going to trade them, and these are the picks. Right. You'd have to agree on the picks first and then do all the other stuff. If it's the original thing where I saw that they wanted like this year's first round pick, next year's first round pick, and and the second round pick, I'm like, hell no. And, and T. Higgins, right? right. And T. Yeah. Higgins. I'm <laughs> like, no, thank you. Like, what makes our team better is either A, T. Higgins playing this year on the franchise tag, and we win the Super Bowl, and we get Johnny Newton, right? Right. If mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson comes in, our D-line still needs help. We still need a corner. You know, we still need a right tackle. It's just yep. it's giving up way too much. And I'm the fucking LSU homer here. Out of everybody. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm the one that loves LSU. Now, poor Chop, what if it was like a second round pick, T. Higgins, and a first round pick next year, though? You still get your first round pick, get Johnny Newton. Why not get both? I so, still you know, love that personally. I mean, you're you're, you're yeah. giving up the 32nd pick next year. So <laughs> that's good. right. Exactly. Exactly. Second so, pick. But it's second, I mean, the second rounder this year, we're talking we need a you know, everybody's saying sweat. Let's just say it's sweat. So you're right. giving up your D line. Your your what are you doing on defense, guys? Exactly. Yeah, well, you're, okay, you're not, so right? It's outscoring everybody. Well, no, you're it. taking you're taking Newton if you don't give up your first this year. 
there. Yeah. Right. And, and, and like, and let's be honest, the NFL wants this if it would happen. Yeah, they do. The yeah. money that would come out of the Bayou Bengals would be unbelievable. We would max probably- out primetime games. They would sell out everything. And then the fact that we might get scripted to go to the Super Bowl, I don't give a shit. If you want to script us a win for a Super Bowl, I'm all on board. Hey, you our know. alternate uniform will be purple and gold. <laughs> I was just about to say, and, you know, they, they honestly could do it now, but – I could see some Cincinnati Bengals in purple and gold, and they would sell the shit out of that stuff, for, especially they, right now yeah. with the two guys they got. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the Burt O jerseys, you know. Yeah, the, I've got one. Well, t yeah. jersey. Hey, Chop, they, they're listening to you, man. You can, you were saying this for how many years? This is our destiny year. In New Orleans, they're listening to you, Chop. Been, hey, how long have I been calling the Justin Jefferson to Cincinnati thing? Everybody was like, poor Chop, you're full of shit. You don't know you're, t- <laughs> you're a fucking drunk old man uh, drinking your goddamn four loco all the time. He's fucking crazy. But here we are. You, you said this is our destiny year. This is a way to make it happen, Chop. Destiny year. Bengals captain, I guess, has already booked his uh, hotel, right? Yeah. 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 Which a lot of people do that anyway. Right. right. You know, and, you know, there's rumblings that you hear that inside the organization, they want to have this happen. So we'll see what happens. It's, it's fun to think about, if nothing else. Yeah. Makes makes the offseason just fly on by. Not only that, but yeah. even if it doesn't happen and then we find out that it was factual, that they were actually trying to do it, it makes the fans feel good that they are swinging for the fences. They're going for mm-hmm. like one right. of the biggest names in the NFL. Yeah. It's nice to see our team, who back in the goddamn 90s and the early 2000s, they did not do shit like this at all, ever. They signed people yeah. with. Uh, we'll get there. Record. We'll get there, disc off that. Oh, I promise. Dev- Devontae. Maxwell is the guy that he is saying for our uh, – when we get to that portion of the show, breakout candidates. He was all over that on Twitter the other day too. So uh, we'll definitely get there. Um, a little bit more of what, Derek? What? What? It's so important, you, Derek. You want a little breaking news? Justin uh, Jefferson to the Bengals. Justin Jefferson to the Bengals. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, we don't care. Then. Less than an ounce of, of weed was found in um, Rasheed Rice's car. We knew that all day. We knew right? that. Yeah. Like, 10 I just ounces, got 10, the, 10 listen, I've had a day. All right. I've had. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. And that's okay. <laughs> but I will say, CTESPN broke fucking everything yes, that's happened have. major this year, and he said that we were working out the details, and Justin Jefferson's coming to the Bengals. So I'm gonna go yeah. with CTES. <laughs> Antonio oh, Brown. I, I got plans. <laughs> if we get Justin Jefferson, I got plans. If this gets if this what's your year. plan, Greg? Uh, yeah. Naked through the you'll, you'll, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> that's why that's but, what but it has to be enough where I don't get arrested and not lose my yeah, seat. It, it involves peanut butter. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I do have a question since we do in three weeks, less than actually three weeks starting 15 minutes ago, we've got a pretty interesting event coming up with uh Cincy Hat and I gotta ask you because I haven't really got to talk to you yet, who that baby. How was the event, the tattoo event? It was fantastic. I mean, it was ran to perfection. I mean, they yes, well oiled machine. Ted was fantastic. He was there the entire time. It's always fantastic. Never, never took a freaking break. Never just sat there and talked to everybody. Trey was fantastic. Zach showed up. I mean, he was fantastic. He was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Now, people uh, need to understand, Zach Taylor is not going to show up at this event. He's going to be right. in the staff room. Unless we already traded for Justin Jefferson, and there's no need. Yeah, right. <laughs> we tra- we, we traded our, picks, right? our second and both third rounders. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trade it all. <laughs> trade them all out. Yeah. No, but it was perfectly ran. I mean, I would love it to be a yearly thing, but I don't know that everybody wants to get tattoos every year. We're going to write. We need different options, you know, for the rest of the tattoos, but. Yeah, you're know, damn right, Matt. You're damn right. Oh, yeah, Matt. Yeah, Matt's here. I put my hat back on. A lot of good looking guys <laughs> and Greg. That's yeah. How it works. And I'll <laughs> Greg. Greg's got his Beyonce glasses on. He's very right. spoken. Well, this ain't Texas. Woo. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, they ran that event so well. I felt like I was cattle being herded in to get a tattoo. It I, was just. Well, once I had a 12 o'clock slot Seamless. and I went in the door, I signed something, and I'm like, it was a little chilly that day, and I'm like trying to spill out the paperwork, and I'm like still shivering because you know my, <laughs> yeah. Florida, my Florida blood just wasn't ready for it. But right, yeah, 
well, who, who did baby to cheer what happened to me? I was ticked off. I didn't want anything. So I just go home. I'm tired. And I was with Matt's uh, bourbon somewhere. And I, it, there was a golf thing. I think bourbon entered like five or six times. So I'm like, yeah, what the hell? I'll put in five bucks here. I'll just enter. I get a phone call. I'm like taking a nap. And they're like, Greg, you want a golf club? I'm like, sweet. I want a putter. Who cares? And when, when, they, when I told them, when I, I'm like, it was a Scotty Cannon putter. I'm like, Whoa, so who cares what that is? And when I call my brother, he's a golfer. He's like, get your ass back there and get that club right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and Matt, Matt yeah. I'm like, I, I put in 50 bucks to win this putter. Greg buys one ticket right after me and then wins the damn thing. Yeah. I, yeah. You, sh- I you should have spelled your name. Putter either, Greg, I'm with you. No, I, I don't know what the hell it was. I did this shit. It's a freaking putter. And they're like, get, God damn it, Greg. Then Greg yeah. heard it was worth $500. And he goes, oh, shit. He fucking right. yeah. Yeah. back. I, I get up out of bed, man. I'm like, I'm sprinting at the hell he out of bed. His, he was wearing his fucking underwear. I mean, I gave Greg a great offer until everybody informed him what it was. I told him I'll give you 200 bucks right now. He's had a low ball. That's a great <laughs> offer for a $500 golf club. There's there's three things in life that you can for sure bet on: death, taxes, and Greg winning a giveaway. That's no not true. I never win a thing. That's not I never true. win anything. Yeah, <laughs> I don't win anything either. I mean, just look at the the helmet. Just look at the jersey. You never win anything. Yeah. 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 Right. right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, who day baby just wins when it's the worst possible fucking time. Right. <laughs> 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 I mean, hey, I got rid of the draft in Cleveland. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Cleveland. and that's even. I mean, you get you did get the uh, announce what or be meet Chase. So that was yeah. awesome. Yeah, you yeah. sat on the really stage, good. man. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was good. Awesome. I had to get Chase's jersey, and then I announced Tyler Shelvin. You got to go cool. to Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're the reason Tyler Shelvin. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, watch it. That's that's dragon. You hugged Jamar. You hugged Jamar Chase and gave him all this luck to be an incredible. <laughs> exactly. Player. I was the first one to welcome him to Who Day Nation. So that's that's a fact. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, now that's yeah. A, yeah, it is. And, and I didn't even get a face paint on his all white suit. That was a, my biggest. That is a talent. In itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it mean, is. now it, it sounds like some rumblings you hear that maybe 2027 we might get the uh, draft uh, in Cincy. Nice. Oh. So who right from the Hall of Justice down there? That might work. A nice backdrop. That, at the Halls of Justice, that would be awesome. Oh yeah. I mean the Union Terminal would literally be at the end know. of yeah. um what right there by the Red Stadium with Holy Grail. That that spot would be money for the draft right there. Oh Biggest god, rest. yes. Coming you out onto the banks. There? The bank at the end of the banks, right by the, the yeah, Red in stadium. between in between Paycor and uh the Red Stadium. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, That'd that would be great. great. Yeah. Well, it Fuck, would be like a whole – it would be everywhere with the draft. Well, yeah. I mean, that's where well, you just set think, up the stage. Just think about the, the MLB All-Star, All-Star game. You know, they was okay. able to do it and had no hitches with that. I think they could do the same – kind of the same thing for, for the draft. So the only thing different with the draft is that it's everything – you know, everybody's outside – Right. In that space. So that's where you got it. Like for the all-star game, you're there, you're inside the restaurants, you're doing all that. And then yeah. you go into the stadium where the draft, you're outside mm-hmm. that entire. So that space is not, you can't be used for anything. Yeah. Right. That's true. So that's only, I mean, I still think they could do it. Just think that that's, you have more outside and it's not a ticketed event kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could, you could set up tents right inside the, uh, when you go through that check-in with the Reds, all those tents could be set up for the players to sit, all that stuff. You could have players inside the uh, Reds Hall of Fame Museum. All that, mm-hmm. the tent could be right there. It'd be absolutely money. Just use GABP, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> you could. Well, I mean, it's it is during baseball season, game. though. So oh, that's true. got to schedule it. Well, right. what, I, what I'm hearing is after we get Justin Jefferson and win the Super Bowl this <laughs> yeah. year in New Orleans, the NFL is going to want to bring the draft to us. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah. Riverbend. Mm. Hey, there's a. Uh, I think they'd rather a, do it downtown. Say there's a, well, he was asking about uh, still a place to have concerts down by the river. Yeah. And yeah there's a oh, they, they could use Coney Island. Yeah. It's not being so used anymore. Well, I live in the down by the river. Paul Brown or. Uh, yeah. There's that new page. page. I don't know what it's called, but that's down there. New <laughs> <laughs> venue. Yeah, my kid went down there and seen a concert. I know what I know where you're talking about. Yeah. It's right there I, on the banks. Yeah. yeah. I live in a van down by the river. That's 
That's You're a motivational funny. speaker too, aren't you? <laughs> he, he won that van. Won. Yeah. <laughs> All right, before the five dollar raffle into more chaos than what it already is. <laughs> Let's talk some breakout candidates for this season. So it's what I titled the show because hell, why not? You know, we haven't yeah. talked about it yet this year. Uh, we're in between free agency and the draft. Let's just go around the horn. We'll start with you, Bourbon, because you look well prepared for this question. Oh, I'm completely prepared. My breakout candidate is Senate, the tight end. That's my guy that I would like to see. What are you talking round. about? You, you, can't really TV, man. you can't fucking oh, have a well, draft. I thought we were talking about draft picks. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're talking Welcome about Cincinnati Bengals players. Jordy, oh, oh, okay. okay. We'll Maybe start, we're let's, drafting let's start, that. I was going to say the, the fourth round pick. No, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. We'll start with fourth <laughs> chop and let Matt think for a minute. How many bourbons have you had so far, bourbon? Yeah. I got a 20, my, whatever my break, this thing is. <laughs> my breakout candidate this year, and Greg's going to be pissed because I'm taking him, is Jacecki. Okay, He's going to play that tight end position slurper. like it hasn't been played with Joe Burrow ever before. We're going Six back slurper. to Joe Burrow, Thad Moss, LSU. I'm telling you, we're going to have a great season with the tight end this year in the slot. Hey, Chop, I already got someone else in mind, so don't worry. All right, well, good. Of course you do. Oh, because I, I, because I, when I, we get Justin Jefferson, they're going to be guarding Chase. They're going to be guarding Jefferson, Gusecki. But my precious Yossi Bosch will be <laughs> right <laughs> open. So, Yossi Bosch, hey, the right here. they're going to be guarding everybody, show. and he'll be wide open. And I'll be taking my shirt off, Matt. Since I'm sitting near you, I'll be taking my shirt off every time, buddy. He's and I'll be rubbing those nipples, baby. That's good right, yeah, buddy. Matt will, get, Matt will get himself a little milk. So I go with Yoshi. Hmm. My turn now. Go for Your it. turn. Um, you know what? I'm going to say Joseph Osai, just because he had a down year last year. We was all expecting him to really take off, and he didn't. Um. I think he kind of had a come to Jesus moment last year, and I think it'll. I think he'll turn it around this year. Yeah. I could see. I could see ten plus sacks for him. Whoa, ten! Right. Whoa. I think it's Jeez. ten. We're okay. dominating games. Yeah. yeah, because Trey's gonna at least get his eleven again. No, it's seventeen or seventeen. Whatever, He's gonna know, get twenty-seven. 32. He's gonna get thirty-two. One for every pick before us in next year's draft. There you go. Because we're gonna be, we're gonna beat them so bad this Super Bowl. We're gonna be picking thirty three. <laughs> wow! All right, I guess it's my turn since we got to wait for Matt to really think this through. Yeah, yeah, I, I, got, I got two. No. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going Chase Brown. Yeah, I really think that okay. he's gonna get with a heavier workload, and then you got Brown and Brown on the ends. What can Brown do for you? You're gonna seal those edges. Gonna make that turn, get that speed, and go. I mean, I just think he's going to be a thousand yard rusher, maybe eighteen touchdowns, you know, something like that. Jesus, <laughs> if he does that, and Zach Moss plays well. I mean, oh yeah, I, Zach Moss well, has to play well because well, plus, I've got a uh, hundred dollars on it. Plus, they're going to be doubling, you know, Chase and Jefferson, so it's going to leave the middle wide open. We're good to go. Cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Matt, you cannot say Ben Sanat. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or no, just Jefferson, right? I, I got a couple. I, I think, I think, that, and it's all on defense. I, I think Dax Hill is going to have a breakout season. I think he's got a fire lit under his ass. Now, playing Brock, where? Playing oh, where? Let's start there. Right. Playing where? I'm going to put him in the slot where I think he's going to really excel with his athleticism. I think he's going to do very well. I think them bringing in Geno Stone and Bell coming back is probably going to piss him off to where he's going to go, fuck this, and really show that he's the guy that should be there. And I, I just think Dax Hill is going to play very well in the slot. I think he's going to do what we always wanted him to do. He, he's, he's streaked with his athleticism. Um, I think he's a very good tackler. I think the slot corner is where he's really going to excel. If I had another one, I have two more. I think people are still fucking sleeping on Cam Taylor Britt. I think Cam's going to come back and just fucking lock down the entire time at corner. I love Cam. And my last one is going to be Miles Murphy. I think Miles Murphy is going to take that next step and just fucking dominate. That's my three. I have 12 others. 
<laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys put two names I didn't even have, Gasicki and Brown. I didn't even write down. Yoshi, Murphy, Osai had those ones written down. First, I, I, this golf dad, I'll give him his love here Yeah. for the Devontae Maxwell, who got hurt in training camp, but stud of a player. He's 31 sacks in college. He says 6'3", 300. I got, I got uh, 6'1", 297. Either way. He was a stud, uh, Tennessee Chattanooga, so smaller school. Had elite PFF grades coming out. Got hurt like in camp. But I think he's got a chance to make the roster and do something. So I'll agree with that one. Um, we'll, we'll go around the horn another time, so I'll just give one now and see how many more you guys get. But I'm going to say Dominic Davis because when I, I go oh. breakout candidates, oh. I'm trying to go, okay. you know, deep cut, like – not guys who were sake. starters last year, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> guys, listen, damn starters. Hey, I didn't list a starter. I got another one. I got another one. We'll, we'll My other one's a around. starter. But Davis, 6'2", 326. I think he has mm-hmm. a chance to. And we like what we saw from him in preseason last year, right? Now, he's 20, 28 years old. That's the problem. But I'm going to say breakout in the sense of like Tanner Hudson broke out, right? Older age, but he sh- <laughs> he's shown some flat and bounced around a little bit. Hey, Brad Robbins on my list. I ain't going to lie. Yep. Just saying. Because he needs to break out, right? He needs to do yeah, something. Here is his number one enemy right now. Yeah. But uh, so Dominic Davis, I'm going to throw that name out first because maybe he's your backup nose tackle after the draft. You know, because right now they've got yeah, nobody doing that role. So, yep, I, I'm going to go with that, and then I'll, I'll, I'll kick it around the horn. So Maxwell and Davis, come back to me. Those two, chop your back up. I'm back up. Well, man, I want to pick someone that's not a starter, but I already had it in my head for my guy that I picked last year, Juan I Drago. It's on the list because I expected you to take it just like Yoshi. Was <laughs> All right, well, that's why I'm like taking this one, man. Why do you think I was going to take Yoshi? I'm excited with a good tight end, you know, pass-catching tight end, but – Juan Drago is going to have a breakout year this year. On the other side of the field is Cam Taylor Britt, man. It's going to be fucking locking it down on both sides. Juan Drago is my uh, number two breakout candidate for this year. Yeah, and his PFF grade wasn't good last year, but he showed flashes being really good. Yeah. And yeah. he's got the speed, the length, the you know, all of that stuff you like in a corner. Yeah. And the second year, he could make a big jump. So I definitely think he should be on that list. I think that's a good candidate. Go ahead, Greg. You can't say Yoshi twice. Yeah, you can't do oh, Yoshi fuck twice. You, man. Seriously? I, I'm not <laughs> talking about him yet. All right. I right, think right. the I'm, other wide receiver. I, I thought about it. You know what? I'm going to go with Cordell Volson. People hey. keep hitting on him every year, and he did secretly. He was really doing well near the end of the year last year. I think he's just coming along. I still think you need to get a guard in, you know, for somewhat competition, but I really still have a lot of faith in Cordell Volson. I like what I see in him. Yeah, a lot of times you, you worry that he's done it two years in a row where he kind of, at the end of the year, he kind of takes off. So you hope that he can kind of start this year off right and right. then uh, just keep it going. A lot of it's communication. He's had how many people well, – he's had a couple swings at the left tackle. I mean, the communication mm-hmm. is really key there. Yeah. You know. Right. So now that he's – it's his hopefully another full year at left tackle dealing with – um OBJ, mm-hmm. it should really help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Nope. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> God damn it. Who? Yeah. <laughs> well, you better be you hey. better be on uh, the Jackson Carmen train because if Trent Brown goes down, guess who's going in the fucking right tackle? Yeah. Eh, the draft hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Cody Ford. All right. So yeah. I'm going to take a guy that's going to play a huge, huge role especially with the new rule change on special teams. And I'm going to go with our man, Chase, or not Sizzle? Chase Brown. Uh, Chuck I, Sizzle? Charlie Jones, Sizzle. Chuck Sizzle. Sizzle. Charlie Jones. Just because I, I could see him having a Pro Bowl year this year with just how elite his speed is and his vision is in the return game. or Well, in the special teams game. Pro Bowl. Yes, yeah, 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 there you go. So I I could see him getting another touchdown or two this year and and racking up the yards for the kick return and maybe even getting the punt return role as well. 
Well, and uh, as of now, he may be our starting slot wide receiver too. Yeah. So you got you got a couple different ways he could yep. make an impact. Make so, and speaking of that, so this year with the new rule t- rule change, you have to have two. Mm-hmm. Do you think? Do you see them drafting a guy, or do you think there's a guy on the team no. currently that that would take that no, second? I currently, it's uh, Travion. Uh, Travion. Travion yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Pork chop. We got two Hude babies. On. What is happening here? What is <laughs> that's what he's been working on? That yeah, he made a hat. baby doll. Yeah, I'm making a hat. Look, there it is. <laughs> that, that's a lot of tape. Wow. Oh, that's I love nice. it. That's I love nice. It. That's a Hude baby it. hat. That's a. It's. I'm working on it. it says Hude. And there's a lot of glitter on that. There is yeah. a lot of glitter out there. That is. Are you that's that's it's rhinestones. That's rhinestones. Is that That's for Hootay Baby, or are you making two? Yeah, yeah, he can have it when I'm done. <laughs> you have to de-lice four. it, though. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, and the lice. The <laughs> no, lice I don't have it. You know, a lice don't like to live in this apartment. There's no, there's no furniture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just I decided to make me. hats, and fuck it. Yeah. Somebody showed me these hats on the internet called Baby Dazzler, where they take a baby's head and stick it on a hat that and is, put rhinestones is, around that it. That is pretty <laughs> incredible. I'm not going to lie. Something. I do now, really like it. Can you put a, can you put a foam cowboy hat on it? Uh, you know what? I, I did paint the whole head because I didn't think I'd find a hat. So it's you as it's, it's your baby picture, Sean. <laughs> hey, if, if Cincy Hat is watching right now, this is what I want our next Cincy Hat to be right there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Matt. <laughs> right here, it's one of right here Matt. See yeah, if you can hook time. it up. I know a guy that <laughs> they can't be manufactured quite as fast as you get now. Yeah. yeah. So you Matt, have three hats scratch my snow. camouflage since he had idea. That's what I want. I don't want <laughs> right. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. It'll go good oh. with your shirt. Yeah. See. Which you can get at BengalsOnTheBrain.com. But anyway. Hey. Oh. <laughs> we go. Every um. plugs. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Chop shop five one three myshopify.com. Go ahead. You might right, get your sure. credit card hacked. Don't worry. Right. Shut the fuck up, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro count right. candidates. Part All right. two. You know what? I'm going just a gonna go a little off the radar. I don't know exactly how he's gonna get there. It's gonna be but Tyson Anderson. I feel special like teams. Is, could be special, special teams. teams. I thought about that too. It's just one of those like he has the makings to be great if he can yeah. stay healthy and just get in there and just more more reps. Mm-hmm. I just think he can be something special. Like, and I love him. He's from my alma mater with freaking Toledo. He's a Toledo guy. Yeah, there you go. So that's where that's mine. I mean, it's just kind of don't know exactly how he's going to get there, but that's I feel if he does, he'll shine. All right. My guy that you gave seven last time might as well. No, get your no. This, this, is a guy, <laughs> this is a guy that like it's it was unfortunate that he got hurt because he was really starting to come on. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's really starting to come on, man. Dude. And I was oh, I know who is. when I was at Cam Cam's event and got to talk to him, his nicest guy, dude. And he was really coming on, and then he gets hurt, and it's DJ Ivy. Right. That dude was yeah. starting to play fucking yes. really good football. He might not play, though. I know. I don't know. He was we in one of the Bengals videos, yeah. and he was looking good. If if he gets yeah. to play, that's a guy that I I think, man, he was really coming on at the end of the year. Yeah. He's so he long, man. God, yeah. he was so – thank you, man. DJ Ivy was a guy – that I was like, damn, dude, he he really started to fill in for Cam being out and was playing well. And it was unfortunate he had the knee injury because I was really excited. Like, I think our defense really takes a step up this year. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Especially. Yeah, I really, um, they I both both really like <laughs> DJ Ivy when they draft Johnny me. Newton. Yeah. Derek. There's still a whole bunch of people on my list. So. I, I'm just trying to go through the roster, and I'll, I'll go with another D tackle. I already named two. So this one is actually ahead of those two guys on the depth chart and has played a little for us. Jade Tufele. Hmm. 
Yeah. Right now, he could be a potential guy to come in and get it a little bit of bigger role. He's going to get we'll some wait. rotations if we don't if we don't have a first round pick, you know. Yeah, and we can <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and we can, <laughs> we can uh, you know, we can circle back to this conversation also <laughs> after the draft and kind of, you know, have a little bit of it again. But uh to Fele and then I, I got another one here, so there's not a ton of wide receiver spots, and let's say we don't get Justin Jefferson. You're right. Maybe. I mean, Shedrick very slim Jackson. possibility it doesn't happen, but go ahead. <laughs> Shedrick, so Shedrick Jackson, right? They called him yeah. up to the active roster yep. a couple times from Auburn as a rookie last year. Mm-hmm. Has like 4-2 speed. Everybody says, well, Bo Jackson's Bo's nephew. nephew or yep. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he is. Yeah. But, you know, maybe that's a dark horse. Breakout yeah. candidate. You want if a real, just a real dark horse? Yeah. Yes. A real dark horse? I do. Kendrick Pryor? Zach Carter. Zach Carter. I thought about that too, man. Yeah. Zach Carter. Zach Carter. Yes. The other uh, we about did him? This. See, Possibly. see, we did this last year. We did yeah. this last year with Zach Carter, so I refused to do that yeah. this year. Um, like, I hope the, he is. He's uh, a big son of a bee. I don't understand what's going on with him. I really don't understand because you, you would think, because he's athletic as fuck. I just don't understand what's going on. Well, he was a and, DM you know, he college. added weight. He added weight yeah. as well, and you know, trying to play with that with that new weight and trying to convert to a new situation. Um, I'm I'm sure that played a role as as well. I think he needs to smile more and get happy because he always seems like he's pissed at the world whenever you see him <laughs> and smile more. Yeah, he just smile pissed. Yeah. He needs to be happy, to, man. I, I want to see that him. dude excel because I like him. He's got a I'm great him excel because he's wearing the right uniform, to be honest. Whether I like him or not, if he's wearing that uniform, I want to see him excel. I want yeah. all our guys to excel. Santori just that. woke up and chose violence. Sure. Yeah, Greg I already picked him right away. <laughs> yeah. Santori already says he's got brick for hands. So yeah. Yeah, you know, whatever, Santori. You'll be seeing my shirt off too. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Four touchdowns in the rookie year. Greg, every touchdown up. this year since you're sitting with us, shirt comes off. We rub nipples. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, you hey, yeah. who did baby? Why don't you move up with us, man? You can join in all the fun, man. Yeah. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna you can touch <laughs> nipples. Hey, who did who did over our entire section? Like we're Danny and Derek and who did baby are just fine. Section one fifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they got a pretty good section right here. Hey, offers a stance, man. Do you offer stance che- though? Cheaper seats. You get to sit with Elizabeth. Like you know, we're we're taking over the whole row right now. It's a lot. Yeah, of but Sean's a nice guy. He sits in the back of his section, so he doesn't block the view with the hat. You guys don't sit in the back. He would probably <laughs> well, go, right, Sean? Most of the people that sit yeah. behind us. would definitely go. If it wasn't for that, I'd be there. Yeah. And you can't give up the hat. Now, Sean, how did the whole who day thing that you start, you know, who day, like, did they approach you or did yeah. you approach? The, okay. Yeah. Fuck right. They approached him, man. They know. So <laughs> we got to know because that seems like it's a lot to try to get done. Yeah. What goes into your mind when you're trying to get the crowd amped up when you're doing He's the like, day? I got a point left. 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 Right. The, the hard part about that is, is for some reason, I don't know why, but it's only on the screen behind me. Oh, you can't even <laughs> see. Okay. The, the who in the day is on in front of me. Oh, okay. Behind me is the video of me. So if I don't necessarily hear the music come in, right? I don't know that I'm on. <laughs> oh. He's over there just I, freaking pounding beers. Like, and then I get people there like, hey, <laughs> Alec. And then I start, you know, just <laughs> yeah. losing my mind. Because that's how you reported the wrong yet. Yeah. <laughs> But it's just, you know, you just go nuts and crazy. I liked it. The first two times I did it, they took me over to the stage to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, I want to say it was the third time they brought me over because what it was is they were going to do it at the first defensive possession in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. And it was a game against the Falcons. And Great game. <laughs> yeah. And the Falcons never got the ball back in the fourth quarter. <laughs> yeah. So I just spent the whole fourth quarter standing on the stage. Me and the cheerleaders just chilling out. We're like, that sucks. Yeah, Horrible. it was terrible. Yeah, but then, with all the cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then when the game was over, like towards the end, everybody's starting to shuffle out. The poor girls are like getting bombarded as they're trying to leave, and you have this mass of humanity and me. And I think they at that point they went, okay, if this does, this isn't going to work in case this happens again. So they're like, let's just do it from your seat. And uh, yeah. So. And we'll let you know by surprise, you're on. Exactly. 
Yeah. Well, and Alex Schweppe, he used to text me right before they were to do it, which is great and all, but nine times out of ten, I'm not feeling my phone vibrate <laughs> no. in that stadium. I'm like, so all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, okay, okay I guess I'm on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. As you you see like oh shit I'm on and it's the and and, and it says on the jumbotron one more time oh, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah and then you're like oh, oh yeah. yeah yeah just yeah. mimic what who day baby does oh, so I know, there, you absolutely pound in the Miller Lights three oh seven watching you do it man yeah well, no, it's, it's a blast three yeah. ten on the fifty yard line yeah, what's yeah, up dude keep it up bro I, I love walking out people are like it's the who it's who dare they do that I'm like okay, right. <laughs> Oh yeah, we we love that, and we ha- we had a bunch of people approach us last year at uh, like in lot one, come to the lot one lizards area, and lot lizards baby, yeah, lot lizards at and, uh, Dawkins, and that's it for the stay. Like one of the questions I got was, "Hey, is who day baby around here?" And I I point you out over there with the Bengals bomb squad, and then another one was, of course, you got the third down guy, and I I love seeing all you know you guys getting to do all that. That's that's really cool. If you want to see me do beer can titties, I can do big beer can titties. Say, you know one guy no one has given a fuck about for a couple of years. Which arrow guy? Yeah. No, no one gives yeah. Nobody, Nobody cares. I Nobody will comes say, down and goes, where's that beer can titty guy? All the personalities. <laughs> like, they do yes. such a great job they, of the personalities, except for beer can titty guy. Yeah, right. They've gotten yeah, much better at that through the, like, trust me, there were years where everything on the board was just you know, generate just computer generated something, no fan interaction, nothing. And it was just like, bring the fan every year when I got, we got a little survey, you know, anything you'd like to add. I'm like, yeah, use the fans for your, from a, like right. your first downs for saying things like it's just you, cause I've been to other stadiums and they do that constantly and we hadn't done that. And now they are <laughs> full in on all the and fans that's, and, and that's a hundred percent Elizabeth, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she has overhauled the entire experience for the fans, and, and it's been phenomenal. And a big shout out to Alex Schweppe, who is the guy that run, basically he runs the game day production. Ooh. Okay. So okay. he is, you know, way to go, Alex. Yeah, he's the yeah. one that just comes in and, and says, you know, we're doing this, this, and this. He's the guy that's in the headset. And coordinates everything and just tries to get it to the next level. He just he calls it my show. He's like, it's my show every Sunday. Yeah, I have to get this done, and that's you know. And granted, he was got got the go ahead from Elizabeth to say, "Here, this is yours. Do with it what you will." Right. Does she get the go ahead from Grandpa? Does she have to get the go ahead? Or and the thing is, if you see and like the thing is on game day, you're gonna see all the Browns, the Blackburns walking around. Say hi. Yeah, they yes. love it. They want mm-hmm. the fan interaction. That that right. gives them, you know, the affirmation that they're doing their job right. Don't. Well, at them. least Don't you think high. they do. They yeah. think you're the most annoying motherfucker they've ever met. <laughs> probably. Well, I mean, during games, I am probably the most annoying person. I didn't want to, but... One one quick little story for about Elizabeth as, as we're talking about the Who Day chant. So the first time that we did it was the Thursday night game against Miami. Mm-hmm. Which was also when the hurricane was hitting down here. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't, I'm like, my flight got canceled, all that kind of stuff. I ended up driving up, left my wife here by herself, which is, you know, husband of the year material as the hurricane. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, that's right. He knew those priorities when yeah. you guys got married. <laughs> but I went in the day before the game to the stadium. They wanted me to practice it. Yeah. Just because it was on the stage. And like, you know, the section 158. Nobody else there. Yeah. So they're going, you know, and they're showing me. And it was right before the Ring of Honor like dinner thing, and Elizabeth is just walking around the the concourse, and she comes up to say hi. So during the rehearsal, she is one of the ones up there holding up the who and the day sign, or you know the cheer, and she's just the whole time as we're practicing, she's like, and then she points out the how they're doing the Ring of Honor and all that stuff, and she's like, okay, I guess I got to go change now. I'd love to hang out, but I got to go and like just yeah, chill it out, just holding the sign, practicing with me. I'm like. But anyway, yeah. Did she get your autograph? I don't know if she did that night. Or she took a picture, but yeah. Hell hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, who day, baby? My question is for the Buffalo game. Were you surprised how well they pulled it off for the orange and black sections? I I, I didn't think it was going to go that well. And I looked around. I'm like, holy crap! Uh, this they pulled it off perfectly. Were you surprised just as much as a lot of other people were? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I I thought it was going to be just 
So you'd have like two sections that got it right, and then you'd have right. just a <laughs> mismatch. But I mean, everybody understood the yeah. assignment, did it exactly right, and then just was the, fantastic. The fans pulled it off. I mean, the, the communication was done extraordinarily well. And I think, and Bengals captain said it, you know, perfectly. Like, the Bengals weren't going to just put free blank t-shirts on everybody's thing. Nobody wants to just put on a shirt or whatever. Right. So they were like, Hey, we're putting our faith in our fans, and our fans fucking came out and they did. Ex- they they understood the assignment, and we. Yeah. Killed them. I mean, I can't think of any other NFL team fan base that has None. pulled off something of that caliber like we did. Other it teams tried that whiteout. Unbelievable! <clears throat> it was yeah. unbelievable. We killed the whiteout. We yes. killed the stripe out, and I want to see a fucking orange out. Yes, I want to see a blackout. We, well, we don't need a, you know, we can do a black. I don't, I don't care. Fucking black. Out, black out, I don't give a fuck. Black hole. Fuck. <laughs> See, one thing with the, if we do a blackout is that I can't do the reverse face paint. I did that once and that was. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You will be canceled, sir. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, the, so, the time I, the time I did it was before everything was offensive to everyone and all that. And I was like, yeah, and looking back, I went, yeah, that was probably not great. But had the orange stripe instead of a black stripe, it was just not, you know. You know what? Do yeah. the silver and black, like that silver and black helmet. That would yep. maybe be good for the blackout game. Yeah. Why would I do silver, though? I don't know, because it just, fucking, it, it's not the reverse uh, orange and black. I just stop. know. Uh, stop, just stop talking. I, had a, <laughs> I should, you know, I got to work tonight, too. I should not have had that poor logo. <laughs> I just know uh, Ohio State does it every year, and every year it seems like they freaking kill it. So I just think that would be really cool to see in Cincinnati. Homer, you're a homer. I'm. They do. Hey, a, they do I have never now. went away from the fact that I am 100 percent a homer. Well, the best part, if you're gonna do it, the best the best time to do it is do it against a team that's visiting that's gonna have jerseys that like completely go out. against. Yeah. So like maybe the Eagles or Raiders. You know, the Miami. Raiders. I if think doing black orange out the Raiders. We play the Raiders this year. Aesthetically, that'd look really cool. That would look awesome. I'd love a blackout. I'd love an I'd love an orange out too. I mean, we, it don't matter what they tell us to do, we're all gonna do it. Yes, let, exactly. Let me ask you guys, let me ask you guys this. Would you guys stick with the all white out or would you do white and black, like white and black stripes? I think I like at the stadium. I think like, you know, how would you like, would you do white and black or just stick no. with all white? I'm out? telling stick you at this point, out. I feel like the Bengals could be like everybody where uh, everybody go orange and then assign certain seats to wear black, where you would look across the stadium and would say who day on both sides. That would be oh, cool. Like, that yeah. is what this fan base will do if they tell that, us to do it. That would it's be actually, cool. it's actually pretty easy. You just make sure you, you wear a black shirt with an orange one underneath and then. You know, whatever you got to wear. And, just, and if you want to say who day in the seats, that's very easy to spend some money to put shirts in those yeah. seats. Yeah, and that's it's wear. also that's very not. easy just to replace those seats in the stadium with black seats. And so it just says who day when nobody's even sitting in it. That would be nice. Yeah, and who knows? They, they might be, be doing that I mean, with the 200 section that they got rid of this old seats. They could. I'm glad they're spending so much money to fix a section that nobody even comes out and watches the fucking game. <laughs> you know, I, and the thing is, is, you know, there's the, they're supposed to be leaving. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're in a, the five of our lives, guys. We gotta, we gotta be all there for everything. But even though we're going to dump millions of dollars into renovating. Who let this guy drink a whole fucking big thing of bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This guy. Oh, well, fellas, I, I got to go to work. I apologize you, for my schedule, but. Where's my fucking here? My final words. <laughs> Heading out the door on this day when we had the original, the OG fan of the year, the fucking best fan of the year. No offense to the other ones that we've had so far. No Phil Amon did a good job of that coin flip, though, but yeah. he did I don't know. That was awesome. <laughs> but a real fucking it. good guy right here, man. If you see him, make sure you yell this, my parting words. All right, fellas? Who day, baby? <laughs> well done, well done, well done. That's perfect. You know, who did, baby? For those that don't know, such as myself, how did the whole costume, the foam hat, and everything, how did that all form? Huh? 
I, I'm just curious. Go back to the episode that I did two years ago on here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, Greg. Why weren't you watching? You piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the archive. Watching now. Yeah. Now, so the whole hat and all that started. It was actually lime green. The first time I ever that when I got it, I got it at Sea World in Aurora, Ohio. <laughs> Number one, why there's a speed world in Aurora, yeah. I don't know. But I went there on a trip with my <laughs> girlfriend, now wife, and she got me tickets to the last game at Riverfront Stadium. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go all out. Bought some orange and black spray paint, painted the hat, orange and black, wore face paint, feather boas, whole, whole kit and caboodle. Went down there, and I was selected as the Oscar Mayer hot dog of the game. <laughs> got to go down on the field, got like a swag bag, and I was like, this is pretty fucking cool. Have you seen that winner? Yeah. <laughs> from, there, <laughs> from that moment, there's never been a game that I've not shown up to in a big foam cowboy hat and yeah. face paint. And just, it went from being just the guy, you know, trying to get on TV and paper or whatever, that kind of stuff, and then just meeting other fans for, you know, from other teams and when I got inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2003 and found out there was a whole group of people that did this and they just got ra- you know, raised all this money for charity, did all this good stuff. And I went, you know, you see the Hogats and I'm like, I've been watching them for years. You see Barrel Man. I mean, like, and these guys are all at the Hall of Fame when I go up and I went, what am I doing here? I, I've been, for years, I was the youngest member of the PFUFA. Oh, wow. Because these were all older guys that just kind of had been doing it for a while. And I got, I got lucky. And Bengal, you know, they could have been sitting in a room and threw a dart at a board, and they're like, "Hey, he wins!" Because Visa is the one that did it at the time, and they picked it. But from that, it just grew. From you know, that was in two thousand and three, and just learning more about using looking like a goofball for good. Right. And I don't and, think most uh, people realize that you fly in from Florida, right? Every home game. Oh my God, man! Yeah. I mean, that's that's dedication there, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's that's been the last five years minus COVID. That we've been down here, that yeah. just fly. You know, we were we were in Columbus before that, so we drove two hours. Now we just fly two hours. Just easier that way. Yeah, <laughs> probably cheaper and less stressful. It's it. At times, it is cheaper. I mean, Frontier. I know they get sometimes get a bad rap, but I will not. Ne- I will never say a bad word about Frontier. They are fantastic. They get me to and from, and flights are cheap, direct. Never had an issue. Knock on wood. Well, if you ever want to do Spirit. Ocho's got you. I know Ocho is like you know hooking people up there. So yeah, but did I answer your question, Greg? Hey, yeah, dude, one hundred percent. No, 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 no. That, absolutely, man, one hundred percent. Hey, if anybody in the chat has questions for Who Day Baby, fire him off, man. He's mm-hmm. he's yeah. he's got a few Millers in him at this point. He's ready to roll. <laughs> man. Can we talk he's about? I could say anything. I mean, Wade has used. Who they may be in his trash talk memes. So <laughs> apparently there's there are several memes of me out there. Some are good, some are not so good. So <laughs> oh man. My favorite one is the one where you're yeah, you know, yeah. That, that, that was that was at the draft, yeah, in Cleveland, as yep. you can tell by the mask on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Was this a good time to maybe talk about the event? Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> it's about oh, this man. long. I was gonna say you could also bring uh, Derek's wife back. Yeah, in. hey yeah. Sarah. No, yeah, it's a, it's, Sarah a long it is, she'll tell you. it's a lady pleaser. That's all. You know about. Yeah, <laughs> long enough is the answer. Long <laughs> oh man! Uh, so we got we drafting at eighteen. Just tell us. You're Brock, in, Bowers. Huh? Brock Bowers. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a Bowers guy? Uh-oh, you know, you're no. Derek. Here we go. Full disclosure, I know absolutely nothing about the draft. I mean, not it's. I'm not a draft guy. Never have been. I don't watch college football because what am I usually doing on Saturdays when college football is on? Watching Flying. football. Flying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was going to uh, say jerking off. <laughs> And flying. Yeah. <laughs> what are, who I, mean, it's the self mile high. Yeah. 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 Not at the same time though. I've never uh, not tried that. It's gets yeah. it's uncomfortable with the lady next to me in the seat. It's weird. <laughs> Starts calling the air police on yeah. you. Yeah. And... I get yeah. taken out by the air marshal. It's a whole air thing, marshals. So. Yeah. 
Go ahead, man. The whole thing. Talk about the event, you drunk fucking bourbon fucker. I'm not drunk at all, baby. I'm not <laughs> I'm kidding. drunk. I'm kidding. We can talk about the event. Well, go ahead. Well, we can talk about the event. It's at Midwest Best, April 26. Oh, God, now he's leaving. <laughs> he's bored already. <laughs> so, for, so everybody knows, the Cincy Hat portion is completely free at Midwest Best from 5 to 7. On April 26, you can have an opportunity at this hat. And then I heard there might be another one coming. We don't know. It's a good chance. Like a but, Red City Connect one? Oh, I wasn't supposed to say Well, that. yeah, you fucking ruined that. So <laughs> <laughs> there's another. Who's drunk? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. There's, I just like fucking with people. So there's another hat. I mean... It's going to be a great opportunity to get this hat. If you've never experienced Midwest Best, it's a phenomenal restaurant. With, in my mm-hmm. opinion, the best wings, pulled pork. Look at this guy. All their food is great. Greg agrees. He orders it six times a week. Yeah. Um, hey, it's five times a week, but no, no, it's six times. We we when we were there, Joe, we tried, it's we tried Midwest free. Best. Free. The five to seven is completely free, like any other. Cincy Hat event. We want and and they were gracious enough to partner with us and Midwest Best to come and help promote Project Game Day to where we take adults with disabilities and veterans to a Bengals game that they might not be able to on their own. So anything you can do to come help support Cincy Hat for their foundation and us would be greatly appreciated. I will say that the parking is limited. So just like the St. Taddy's Day, please try to Uber. There is a, I guess, shopping center slash industrial area that you can park at that's a little bit south. You can walk up if you decide you want to drive. Um, we will have raffles going on as you are standing in line to get your Cincy hat. Like like that Jamar Chase football? Like the Jamar Chase football. I got a Joey Votto photo that's autographed. Amongst many other things, um, we, we are we're thrilled that the entire the draft event portion was sold out. Mm-hmm. And if the weather ends up being nice, we might be able to open up their patio. We didn't want to open it up beforehand, and and, and then all of a sudden it's a shitty, cold, rainy day, and people have seats outside that are not going to work. But it's a great event. We hope to see you all there. I know since he had. Uh, We'll love to see you there, and you know, I, I we can't guarantee if Ted's going to be there, but you, there's probably a good chance Ted will be there. Yep. So we hope to see you all. And normally, if Ted's there, some other players may show up as well. Yeah. Well, one person we do know that's going to be there: Bengal legend Corey Dillon. Yep. I was going to say Tim and Nicole, but yeah, I guess Corey Dillon too. And Greg Luther. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's 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 it right there. That might actually scare me. Twenty twenty five NFL Bengals fan of the year, Big Savage. We can kick Greg out if we need to. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Thing is, I know Midwest best so well. They gave me the keys. Then they just said, "Here are the keys, Greg. Just come in whenever you want." To. All right, so we got to take his keys and push him out, and then lock the doors. <laughs> Well, you guys are full of fun stuff now after Matt. Sure. Just, uh, yeah, man. nobody wants to piggyback off of it, you dicks. I mean, well, I'm not going to be there, so I got nothing. To I add. know. Yeah. I got something. How about them Reds, baby? Yep. They're Good having a well. pretty good start to the year. Got a good I series did. against a shitty team coming up. They need to win them all. Yep. I did Let's my very about first. All, all your bets, Derek, and you and well, Matt can compare all your bets. I did my I did my very first uh, fantasy baseball draft last night. Oh yeah, and I've so, got uh, boring quite a few Reds players. But if you want a surefire bet for tonight, to bet, I won't say bet your house on because I don't want to be liable. Don't don't listen to Derek. Yeah, yeah, don't listen to me. You need you need a disclaimer that goes across the screen when he's talking about betting. You want a first <laughs> a, a surefire bet of ten dollars. Yeah. If if you have a problem with gambling, risky. please call one eight hundred gambler. 
I haven't called yet, but I've uh, been told I probably should. Yeah. Um, I, I've Sarah's called a few times for me. She got put on hold, so that, that was a whole thing. It's why you were where the electric that. went out. The yeah. electric went out right yeah. at that time. But uh, Red's money line parlaying that with over four and a half runs. I think it's pretty easy against uh, uh, tonight against the Mets. Um, I parlayed those with Spencer Steer, Jonathan India, and Ellie De La Cruz to get a hit. I just so Jonathan India has kind of been in a slump, and I just I feel like what? tonight's the night to kind of get out of it. The past couple games, he he hasn't done very well. He's got eleven game inning streak. Oh yeah, plus you need uh you need Apple Plus to watch the game tonight. Is you it want Valley? Sure, fire bet. This is my bet. Nope. Uh, well, let me let me get this in here. Chris lives in New Jersey. Hope everything's all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awful, I, man. It's my buddy stuff Tommy going. texted me. He goes, "I just went through an earthquake," and I'm like, "Whatever." And he's like, "No, the whole building. He was at work, and the whole building just shook." He said, "And tag on." Yeah. Anyway, go, go ahead. On. Go ahead sure with fire, your degenerate sure game. Fire bet, Matt. Another uh, another surefire bet that I think is going to hit tonight is no run scored in the first inning and Hunter Green six strikeouts. Put those together for a plus like two forty. I think those are going to hit. And by the way, Jonathan India has not gotten a hit the past two games. See, Matt, he told you. I'm telling Suck you, it, Matt. Because if he would have, what did I say? He's not going to get hit. I just said no run scored in the first, and no. no I, I, actually, said, I, I like your bet, but I don't really. I'll gamble some during football season. It's going to be cold, here for me and you got minutes. good pitchers going. I don't think any sport runs are scored the first. I think Hunter Green gets six strikeouts. Hunter Green's on my baseball team. He's he's on your. Ba- a, you have my fantasy baseball, baseball team. Have you seen my baseball? Have you seen my baseball? Have you seen my baseball? Right, that means. Anyway. <laughs> I love it. All right, boys, we're an hour in. Good time to end this one. I was going to say, I'm surprised we made it an hour because there really has not been anything as far as Bengals news lately. Oh, there's there's just not. Of JJ, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, just, Justin Jefferson, that's all there is. <laughs> that's that's all all there. I got one more question to ask yeah, you. Sure. Uh, who would you enjoy? Obviously, there's a lot of good options, but who are your endorsements for the Ring of Honor? That's a very good question. Oh, uh, I mean, Dylan. There you go. You had to say mm-hmm. that one, or we had yeah. to. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Reggie Williams. Okay, that's a good one. Yep. Mine's yep. Lamar Paris, but Reggie Williams, you can't go wrong either. I mean, Reggie was a bad, bad man. I yes, mean, he was. So that's those are my those are my guys. One old, one new. Yep. So right. let's go around the horn then. Uh, Bourbon, what do, what do you think? I would say Corey Dillon and either Lamar Parrish or Max Montoya. No, yep. oh, all right. Do I have to give an answer? No, yeah, mine, yeah. mine's the same as Greg, uh, Parrish and uh, Dillon. Yeah. But there, there's got I, – I think Lapham should get in. Mm-hmm. Right. But I wish they would just do like, dude, you should be in, kind of like Paul Brown. You're Mr. Yeah. Bengal, you know. Exactly. Right. You should get right. like yeah. automatically, we're gonna put you in this season. Yeah. Along with two other guys. Because right. there's so many that deserve to be in. So one of my questions with the Ring of Honor, because of how amazing of a job he does, do you guys see Dan Horde ever getting a spot? I I don't. Just because he, other than being the play-by-play guy, which is is great. Like I don't that I don't want to like undersell that, but right. that is his only tie to the Bengals. We're lap, yeah, played for the Bengals. Yes, broadcast for the Bengals. That guy's. I think that Dan does a great job, but he's only you know he's been with the Bengals for twenty years now. So I could be wrong on that, but I mean, yeah. I remember Brad Johansson. Brad Johansson is that his name? Yeah, Brad Johansson. Yeah. 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 You know those. So just kind of, I remember how pissed I was when Dan took over for Brad Johansson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, was, didn't, I didn't enjoy it, but now I can't imagine listening to games without Dan. I love him, love his you know play by play. But I was, I didn't like the change at first. But right, I yeah. think that would hurt him as far as now. Maybe if we're talking twenty more years down, down the road, road, yeah, yeah, it may be something where he's one of those guys that have called Bengals games for fifty years. Yeah, go from there. But I just. 
the, him not having a tie to the Bengals other than that. Yeah. Would be right. I, I would I would agree with that because there's so many deserving guys who put their basically life on the line playing football for the Bengals, mm-hmm. blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, and no offense to Horror because he's awesome. Exactly. Man, That's his job, but you know, he can get a media award in general somewhere else. I think he's gotten one if if yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. Oh, mistaken. I'm sure he has. Yeah, he, he's fantastic. I mean, that's, that's yeah. too, you know, like the even the Hall of Fame has, you know, just the media the announcer the media. Right. Yeah. So that's I just if they do something like that, then I can see it, but I don't think they're gonna put that right up here. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. gonna be just right. kind of a, a general mention of you know, or if they do like a plaque somewhere in the stadium. Right. Yeah. How, yeah. how are you going to keep out a Montoya or a right. Krumrai right. Right. Or, or these guys? Yeah. And who oh, yeah. Before that. Like, yeah. I'm just saying there's so many to catch up on. And we can't mm-hmm. forget, you got like Gino Atkins, yes. AJ Green, right. these guys that are not. That are coming down the fight. The yeah. 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 There's only so much Whip. space around the yeah. city. Yeah. 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 So I'll, I'll give my other guy other than Corey Dillon because that one's pretty much obvious. I I would really like to see Jim Breach just because of what he meant to the um could the, have been Super Bowl eighty nine Super Bowl right Super Bowl yeah. MVP yeah and I know it's it's very has it ever happened that a kicker was Super Bowl MVP I don't think it has Benet- right. no Venetary never won it no. yeah so just being that close and I'm still to this day like I never got to witness the Super Bowl obviously but. I still think that had the Bengals won that game, he would have gotten the MVP on that. Yeah. Yeah. Had the Bengals won uh, in 21, I still think it would have been T. Higgins as the MVP. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, who did did you get to meet Corey Dillon when he came here for a game? Yes, I did. So how how awesome is he? He's just so – And I do have to say that that was a little bit – that closed the gap for me Mm because I had – I had some ill will because I was sitting mm-hmm. over here when he was throwing his stuff in the stands over here. Yeah. I did not. I did not take that well. Right. And I mean, I'm 100 percent honest. I was not Corey mm-hmm. Dillon's biggest fan for quite some time, and just it took a little. But then, you know, him cut like hearing him talk after the fact. You know, years down the line, just right. What it, that made it better. Yeah, and then to get to you know, because I mean, I love Dylan. Like I was, I mm-hmm. met him years ago. Not I say met him, but I mean, I got his autograph on a card at a. They did a trading camp in Columbus at the Crew Stadium like years ago, and just right that kind of thing. And so I was had a Corey Dylan jersey, all that stuff. Was a big fan, and then he did that, and I went, yeah. Oh, dude, when he came on all the shows, like he he just loves coming on here. He's like, yeah. you guys are doing me a favor by having you on. I'm like, Corey, you're doing us a favor by coming on. I mean, he he loves he loves interacting, like. He said when he came here, he just said he wanted to come here and meet all of his new Bengals friends. And he said after that game, you know, when it was orange and black in the stadium, right. he said he was just blown away by the by the fan base, like like by the atmosphere. And, and he, it was probably good for him too, like you you know, blown away because what he saw when he was here was not the same fans. No, so, not, yeah. not, not 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 at all. Not the same, you know, and it's because those teams were not great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't do what AO, and that's and I get that, and to see. Everybody behind the team now probably probably has to hurt a little bit for him to see, right? But he also has to you know see that the por- performance they were putting out, not him, but the team itself, was not the same. So that's why. And he has to recognize like because of how well he played, he brought new fans to the Bengals, right that's here now. Yeah, and Chop, I think Chop was one of the first guys to tell me like. Yeah, and when I Chop was very up uh, oh, yeah. like, like what you're saying to to him on this yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. And actually, so and my my first actual live Bengals game was the game that he broke the rookie rushing record against the Tennessee Oilers on Thursday night football. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, you look at what the man did on the field and being the all-time leading rusher and I mean, for his career, too. So if this is a thing that is a springboard to help players get in the Hall of Fame, as Willie should be going in, he's right. already deserved to be in. I think Corey is on that list of players. Yeah. Ken Anderson should get in with the senior vote soon. Mm-hmm. So I, I think, you know, having this ring of honor can help these guys. It's another acknowledgement yes. that these guys look at and they go, oh, you're in the ring of honor for your team? 
okay, that's another check. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I just wish they hadn't taken so long to do it. I mean, we all do, but that's for sure. You know, even as like Boomer said all last year, <laughs> when they were talking, after they announced that he was going in, he goes, you know, he was hurt that they didn't do something like that. And then just now that he realized that there's such a backlog because they haven't done it in so long. Right. And that's, we we're running into that as we talk about who should be in yep. because there's such a backlog because it's been so many years since somebody has been put, you know, since they did this, that you're like, well, there's a, you have the re, the recency bias of seeing these players. And then you have the older guys that we didn't get to see play, but we know about them. Yeah. And they should definitely be in there, but they should have already been in. Yeah. Carson gets a special quitter ring of yeah. honor. Yeah. I don't know. I could forgive him. Like I, if he wanted to come on the show sometime, right. I'd have him on the show and I'd Hash it out him. a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But that, that one hurt, I guess. Oh, yeah. you know, that one hurt a lot. Because, yeah. man, they had the squad. And that, that injury, man. Kimo von Olhoff. Uh, still go fun. Uh, F that guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can't stand that guy. Right. Come on, Greg. It's Friday. You do it. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Dance. No, we're not dancing. No, no. I'm tired. No, 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 no. I got to go, boys. <laughs> oh, See, I got to go. Out of here. I got to go. You guys, right. it was great. I enjoyed it. I will see you. Love you, Matt. Love Love you, bro. See you soon, everybody. Yeah. He says we're great like we don't already know it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Come on, Greg. No, I'm not going to embarrass myself. No, 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 no. (laughs) No, no. Who did but you do not want to see this? No, absolutely not. I mean, I if feel ten, like if ten, if ten different people comment, they want to see you dance in the comments. Who they, baby? All I'm gonna tell you is don't think anything less of me. I mean, I feel like if if you're telling me how much that I don't want to see it, that makes me feel like my dog is barking. I'll, I'll be right back. It. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, do it for the and, people. And, and my beer's empty. Go get a beer. All right, what? I'll sit on here. I'll do it. Wait, no, I can't leave you alone. I can't leave you. No, no, it's fine. I'll show off no. my sweatshirt jersey I got from China. This thing's sweet. Nice. Well, it's not China. It's a, it's a Facebook. It's Chop, man. Chop's got these connections. He's got. He knows people. Mm-hmm. Get a beer. I know we're sponsored yeah. by Fifty West, but the Miller well, Lights. Let's see there. We'll we'll leave the jersey in the in the back. Yeah. Look at that fan of the year. And I will just say <laughs> the. That Sean, who day baby, the nicest guy you could meet. I've never seen the man turn down a picture with anybody, especially Derek's wife. As yes, he he <laughs> looks for her. Let's just, we'll just say that they look for each other, and she looks for him. Yeah, yeah. definitely. The moment but, we pull yeah. into lot one, she's like, "Where's who day baby?" I'm like, "Yeah, hold much. on, let me find him." You know. Talking about me while I'm not there. Yeah, we're talking about how much Sarah and you look for each other. And and fun fun fact. Uh, so I don't know, is this this right here? Can you can you see me pointing this plaque? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we can see you pointing at the plaque. Can't really see what it is. But. So well, was, so that was my the plaque that was in the Hall of Fame in Canton. Oh, that's oh pretty. nice. Yeah, and then oh, so we take well, let's come off the wall yeah, there you go. And this was the day they presented the plaque to me at the stadium. That is awesome. And look how marvelous okay. this man. Like he is just a, <laughs> he's a baddie. As oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I used to you know, you didn't have the cool pants, you know, wore jeans, feather boas, just you know. Dude, it all worked. Honestly, I, you should do that for one game this time. <laughs> bring, bring that style back because bring, bring the old school back. The oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Good, right. good vibrations by Marky Mark. Good, good vibrations. Ooh. You may want to turn your volume down. I did it too. Come on, swing it. 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 Come on, what language is Great. that? <laughs> what is happening here? It's such a get the patient! Screaming. It's, it's such a sweet sensation! I've it's such a get the patient! I've never heard the song sound. It's such a sweet sensation! 
Ooh, it's a bad time. You, I don't know what the hell I'm singing. Ooh, I don't know what the hell you're singing either. We, yeah, none of us know. None of us know. It's a mystery. See us. Now, nation. I feel the vibration. Bum, 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 bum. Come, come on, come on. You feel it, feel it. Come on, come on. Feel the vibration. It's a check. Get vibration. It's a check. Sweet sensation. Whoa. That scream, though. I feel like he's going to pass out. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. I, I, One of these times. I, I'm sorry, buddy. There's no way a second. That's I. The whole it's a whole new side of Greg I didn't didn't know existed. Oh yeah, man, Me we neither. get that almost every Friday on here. Ah. Right toward the end of the show, about to end the show, the people want it, and Greg gives it. To See, them. Greg, you didn't worry about that when I signed up for a Friday slot here. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen. It crossed my mind. I'm like, oh shit, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Dale, stop putting up the. I kept like, Dale, the people wanted it. I mean, I. Okay, the people wanted me to jump off or jump off the bridge. Should I jump off the bridge? I mean, if the yes. people want it, you give the people what they want. Well, whatever. Yeah. Well, no. It, if Joe Burrow comes on here, this is never happening. Joe Burrow. Join us next spot. Friday when no, I'm just yeah. <laughs> join us next Friday on Bengals yeah. and Brews when Joe Burrow joins us. Hey, Derp says Andre Yesvash breakout came. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, oh, well, who they made? Don't you go be telling the organization about any of this. <laughs> I, I'm gonna clip it for him and oh, send it to him so he can send it to. Wait, I got, I got Elizabeth Black. <laughs> yeah. If he would have known, he would have had her tuning in. Yeah, yeah. Little after the hour mark, tune in. Greg will dance. Right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would even label it as a dance. That's yeah, it was. No, no, I had nothing planned out. I just, I a little after just, the hour mark, and Greg will have a seizure live on the Bengals. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, man. Kelly says Joe Burrow would love it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what if Joe Burrow came would said, I will only come on if Greg dances for me at the end of the show? Then I would dance. Yeah. It's, I Joe, would dance my heart. I dance. <laughs> If he tells me to dance, I'll dance. But we would we would name that episode Footloose. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we could get you to do something. You know, oh. a big third down. Get on your feet. <laughs> Everyone would just be laughing. No one could really. It's would be a lot. I kept saying, "Oh, I'm done dancing," and Dale just had to permanently put this every goddamn Friday. I mean, now if we get Justin Jefferson, I will dance in my underwear. That I will do. Oh, oh yeah, you definitely should have done the dot bot, Greg. Yeah. No, we're not. No, no, no. Stop, stop. That's spirit. That got that got that got dug up. I'm bearing it again. That's is not it happening. Out? You yeah. heard it here first. Greg is dancing in his underwear. His underwear. When, 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 when Jefferson. And he's done no. the dot bot. I thought about pulling, if we did get Jefferson, I thought about pulling up the Paul Pay Corps, but I don't want to lose my season ticket or anything over some like who's that nut job running around like a maniac. So just Greg doesn't Ohio wear underwear. underwear. That's the, yeah. Greg doesn't yeah. actually wear underwear. It's the best part of it all. Oh, CPD is I, on full alert. Cincinnati Police I, Department. I thought I was hungry, but not anymore. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you don't want a footer. <laughs> I've heard things, Greg. Uh, don't, don't be modest now, buddy. Hey, truth comes out. Don't need to go to Subway for that foot long. Nope. Yeah. Don't don't mock the tradition. It's bad luck. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate right. y'all for tuning in. Who day, baby? You're phenomenal as always. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Appreciate you. Who day, baby?